Hey, Edwin from Making an Impact here, and I'm going to get into everything this video is about today. The Ultimate Email List Blueprint, three ways to get your hands on a thousand targeted email addresses and watch your business soar in 2023. Now, if you ever run into this problem where you're like, okay, the light bulb went off. I need an email list. Everybody's been telling me, grow your list, grow your list, but I don't know where to get started or I don't even have enough you know, revenue coming in. Like, how do I just get this jump started, bootstrap it? I you know, have enough you know, people on the email list to make sales. My list is unresponsive. It's old and outdated. Well, we'll talk about a lot of ways to address that here in this video. And then in a minute, I'm also just going to show you how you can grow your email list totally for free in just by setting up a few really simple assets at one time and letting them work for you and keep pulling and magnetizing uh, people onto your email list to become subscribers and ultimately buy stuff from you. Uh, but first, I want to talk about, you know, some of the traditional tried and true ways that, you know, absolutely should be um, included in your arsenal at some point, if, if not from the get go. Now, if you've basically, if you've seen any of my stuff, you know that I always talk about, we got to start with an inbound uh, marketing funnel. And what an inbound marketing funnel looks like, just to review, once I can find my little share screen button here. An inbound marketing funnel, I just break it down into three really simple steps, right? So in order to make this inbound marketing funnel, you need to have something that is what's called a lead magnet, okay? So a piece of bait, this could be, you know, downloadable, this could be a free sample of something, anything that you're going to give out basically for free um, or for like a really, you know, cheap price, you know, uh, a couple bucks, that sort of thing, um, mainly so that you can develop a lead. So you can get their contact info and you'll kind of immediately give them a CTA. Uh, you'll basically tell them, hey, go buy our thing or go book an appointment with us, schedule an estimate, whatever it is for your business there. But simultaneously, we know that a lot of people, they're not going to automatically buy right away or they're not going to book that appointment right away. So now we've got their info on your either your email list or if you grab their phone number, um, you've got them on, on your text messaging list. And so you can start following up with them, nurturing them, sending them uh, all sorts of uh content, things like that, that get them into a, a buying mode so that eventually they come over here and they purchase your product or your service or they book that appointment. Um, and so today we're going to talk a lot about how do you even grow this thing, right? How do you even get more people on your list? Uh, it, you know, how do you get to your first 1000 if you're not even there yet? And, you know, one of the first ways that you could just start doing this, if you're totally starting from scratch, zero, you got nothing, you got time on your hands, but you don't have any money or anything like that to, to pump into growing this, is you could literally just start cold calling and cold emailing. And the strength of this is that you're not cold calling like most cold callers. I hate cold calling. Um, but, you know, it is viable and a lot of businesses have grown very big um, by making sure that cold calling is constantly happening in their business. The way they make it work <laughs> is by not being weird and annoying. And my favorite method is by actually being like kind of welcomed and being uh, giving. So when you use this inbound marketing funnel and then you just uh, slap cold calling or you bolt cold calling on in the front, you're cold calling literally can switch. This is going to be the first method, right? Your cold calling literally can switch. This is the mindset difference from cold calling to make a sale and instead cold calling to give people your lead magnet, to give people this resource, um, to give people your free sample, if it's like physical products or something like that. And you will see like, I mean, on my team, we, you know, see literally 80, 90% opt-in rates when we do this. Um, and, you know, make sure you explain it to people that, you know, just so you're all kosher, like, hey, by the way, do you mind if we also add you to our email list and let you know about other things that we've got going on as time goes on, um, that sort of thing. But this this really, uh, one of my favorites is if you can put together like a little mini course or something like that, so, you know, don't spend a huge amount of time or anything, but just break stuff down, um, you know, show people like, hey, if you need, you know, an immediate solution to X, Y, Z, here's how to fix X, Y, Z. And at the end, by the way, if you want more, you know, to learn more about us and learn what it would look like to work with us, here's the next step to, to take and just make it that 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 clear and simple and easy. Um, but you, I mean, literally it's the cold calling, like, I mean, this is the script, right? Ring, ring, ring. Hey, this is Edwin. Did I catch you at a bad time? Uh, no, what's this about? Is what they're gonna say. 
um, yeah, I, you know, don't have anything to sell you right now. Uh, but you know, we did just put together this course that helps business owners, uh, getting free yada, 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 without having to do X, Y, Z. Um, and, you know, obviously there's a little invitation at the end to get to know more about my company and what we do. Uh, but I didn't know if it'd be a crazy idea for me to send that over to you guys. Again, 80 to 90% of the time people are like, well, no, no. I mean, um, you know, yeah, but, you know, send it, send it over. Okay, great. What's the best email address for you? Boom. You got the lead, um, grab their email address. Okay, cool. So I, I'm going to get that sent over to you. Uh, just, just so you know, um, you know, you'll, that'll be broken up over, you know, five emails or 10 emails or something like that. Do, do you mind if we keep you in touch, you know, in the future also with other things that we've got going on? Yeah, no, sure. That's fine. That's great. Okay, cool. Well, you have a great day. Stay awesome. Keep up the great work. Click. Boom. There's a, there's, there's your cold call, cold, cold call script. It's all you need. You're going to get, you know, I, I can't promise you'll get 80% opt-ins, but that's, that's what we've seen. You'll get much more than it. Hey, you know, what's going on? Can I try to, you know, maneuver you here and try to force sell you something? Um, you know, it, it's just, that, that's not cool. So cold calling number one is very viable, very quick way to start growing this list. Um, and to just start bringing in leads and, and nurturing them every single day, uh, like clockwork. Uh, and you can do the exact same thing through a cold email. Just take that, what I just read off, you know, there, I didn't, you know, went off the top of my head, but, um, you know, feel free to write that down and just send it as an email. Like, Hey, we put together this free thing. Didn't know if it'd be a crazy idea for me to send it to you. Um, a lot of people aren't going to respond to the email, but certain percentage of people who do respond to the email, they will probably say, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and then you just let them know, okay, great. I'm going to send it to you. Do you, you mind if I also keep you informed of our other stuff going on? Um, now there's more steps involved there with the cold email because there's a lot of back and forth having to you know wait for their response and that sort of thing. So I would personally prefer just to do it cold calling because it's like as soon as you get in touch with someone, it's pretty quick. Like they say, yes, great. What's the email address? So you get the exchange is done um, versus the email can get a little wonky having to go back and forth. But either one works there. Now, second method uh, that works really, really well, especially right now, is running a very simple Facebook ad. Okay, so this is going to take some cash. But you could you can literally run this for you know as little as I'd say wanting to do at least ten bucks a day. Um, but you know what's three hundred dollars a month to grow your email list? And again, if you did nothing else but you know just ran that for the next year um, very quickly, your email list is gonna 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 grow. And so, uh, really really simple way to do this is to create a Facebook ad that is very clear and to the point. Okay. So whatever your lead magnet is, whatever pain uh, it fixes or whatever, you know, pleasurable experience you're delivering here, whatever desire that you're delivering for them, all you got to do, I, you know, Frank Kern is a big proponent of this and it, it's, it's super effective. It's so simple. It's, it's super effective. Okay. All you got to say in your ad is read this and forgive me here as I chicken scratch this along here. So read this if you want. And then you just insert whatever your lead magnet is going to help them get. <laughs> All right. So it's doesn't, you know, it's not rocket surgery. Don't spend a lot of time thinking about this. These are brackets right here. Okay. So read this if you want. Uh, I'm just going to put DR dream result. Okay. So read this if you want dream result. One of my, you know, favorite ads we had is, you know, it's like, uh, watch this if you want senior C level leads on autopilot, something like that. Okay, that 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 simple. Um, and you and again, you can say watch this if it's like a webinar or a video or you know that sort of thing. A lot of times we'll we'll do like an on demand class sort of deal. Um, so I'll say like watch this if you want X Y and Z. Watch this if you want ten B two B inbound senior level leads guaranteed in thirty days. Okay, so whatever that that dream result is, you just stick that there. Um, now you might also be wondering like, yeah, but I don't want everybody just clicking on that thing. Super, super, super simple fix here. All you got to do is tack on the front end, this little box here. Um, all, all you would put right here is uh, whatever you call your customer. So fire, water, mold, restoration owners, read this if you want uh, free Google ads, <laughs> you know, something like that. Um, hairstylists, read this if you want uh, clients, you know, knocking down your doors. Boom. Okay. So you can call people out right there and just put the, like, whatever your customer identification is, you can just stick it right there and just say, Hey, read this if you want. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So that's all your Facebook ad needs to say. Okay. That's, that's, that's your headline. You don't need to take forever copywriting this crazy extensive Facebook ad. Um, and then I would, you know, you can come here to Canva 
and just pick, you know, type in, I think it, you, you make sure, yeah, you just type in Facebook post. Um, don't type in Facebook ad. It seems to make it a weird, like wonky shape and it's not the best. Um, but if you can get one that's more vertical like this, and all you're looking for here is just a template that's got like some diagonal lines, um, things like that. So like, like diagonal lines like that, that's good. Uh, and then that also uses like really bold colors, um, you know, black backgrounds work really well because you've got to remember this is coming along in the news in the facebook feed right so the facebook feed is all white if you got something that's black that's going to break that up so black background is good with these you know diagonal lines or things like that to just uh catch the eye um yeah, something like this would be really good uh it's just stick your picture in it you know goofy looking picture and again you, you just super simple text here um, nice thing is they removed the whole text thing. You can actually put text in your images now. So, uh, you know, just slap in there, <laughs> you know, free, uh, free PDF shows you how to get X, Y, Z dream result. Like that's all you got to do. Um, don't overthink it there. And I mean, you can literally just verbatim put this in the ad, you know, hairstylist, read this if you want an angry pack of <laughs> clients knocking down your doors, whatever. Um, and so again, yeah, it, just something simple like that. Red and orange work well. The orange uh, and black works well. Don't sweat it. I'm sure you're you're just like me looking at this like, okay, okay, they, you're, just, you're saying this all works well, but which one's the best? I'm going to pick the right one. And it's kind of like, unfortunately with ads, you don't know which one's the right one. It's, it's I use the Mythbusters analogy. They said failure is an, always an option because part of science is just failing and making you know, doing experiences, making your best guess, but knowing that 99% of the time your best guess is going to be wrong. And so throwing it out there, see what happens and then start pivoting and steering um, from there. So don't overthink it. Grab an image. It's just got some lines, diagonal stuff going on. And that's got, you know, some like dark colors with bright colors, basically. So yellow, red, those are good colors. And then again, like the dark or the dark dark blue, um, again, like bright green or something like this. It's just going to break up that that whiteness on the news feed. And that is it. Okay. So you just um, stick that in there. Uh, if you want to make it even simpler, you can make the campaign what's called a lead form. I, you know, if, if you guys want, I can do a deeper dive on exactly how this, because um, this would be the campaign objection, uh, objectives. So you do a lead form. And, and basically when that lead form all they're going to do is just fill out their name and their email, right? So they're going to see the Facebook ad. The Facebook ad set, pops up. It says, read this if you want dream result. And the picture is going to look, you know, like this. And it's going to have a picture of you or somebody else enjoying the dream result. It's just going to say, read this if you want dream result. And then a little button underneath that says, learn more. And when they click learn more, it's going to open up the, the form on Facebook. The reason I like the lead form on Facebook is it keeps it on Facebook. Facebook likes keeping people on Facebook. So they'll help kind of boost your ad a little bit more um, rather than if you were trying to run send people to an opposite website and everything. On top of that, it's less stuff to have to dial in, less stuff to you know that can break down. Um, it's, it's really simple. And, and inside the lead form, you just copy and paste this stuff. Read this if you want X, Y, and Z. Um, we'll send you more information about getting X, Y, Z. That's all you got to do. And as soon as someone you know enters their first name and their email into the lead form, boom, 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 they're going to become a, a lead. Uh, it'll probably you know take them to the thing to download or whatever your, your lead magnet here is. And now, boom, you've got them on your email list and you can keep emailing them saying, hey, go buy that thing or go book that call, do that next thing we want you to do. Um, and voila. Okay. So number one, you can cold call people and ask them, would it be a crazy idea for me to send you our free lead magnet? Um, and that grows your email list. Number two, you can create a really simple Facebook ad literally for, you know, as little as $10 a day. Uh, obviously the more you spend, the sooner you can grow this list. Average cost per leads, you know, KPI, we want to stay underneath $6 cost per lead. Um, you know, depending on your niche and your space that could, that can fluctuate a lot. Uh, but yeah, you know, that's another way I, you know, I'll be honest. I just got these all the time. They're just running in the background. Some of them maybe just be at a trickle, uh, cause it's like, well, I, you know, I just want to make sure we're still just adding to the list and we're, we're leveraging Facebook there. Um, but, uh, a, another way that, that you can just pour gasoline on this, this is the third way. And this is, this is super cool. You'll probably eventually see this if you're, you know, inside my ecosystem anywhere, uh, this little guy here um if uh you go to tinyurl.com slash viral referrals okay so that's ty tinyurl.com i'll make sure you get the link down below um yeah tinyurl.com slash viral referrals all right so this 
little guy here, something called up viral. And what's really cool is it just is like a lead multiplier for you. Like you can see this, this guy, Michael Cooch, you know, 30,000 plus a list in the new market in less than six months. Okay. That's 30,000 plus like, you know, this, this video is about getting your first 1000. If this guy can get 30,000 plus, you can get your first 1000, um, generated 230,669 leads, um, produced more than a half a million dollars in sales in just six days. Uh, numbers, you know, 43,870 leads. Okay. So what's cool about this is it combines viral marketing with referral marketing with obviously lead generation and getting people on your email list. And the, the best way I can explain it is when someone becomes a lead on your, 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 you know, your email list, what, what happens is up viral, we'll just add one extra little page here so that when they get here, and you can just, you know, there's there's several different types of campaigns you can put in here, but one that works really well is just like a sweepstakes where people can, you know, basically win uh, either, you know, some sort of bonus or some sort of perk. Um, the, the, the sky's the limit on what you want to put in here. It can be as simple as like winning gift cards, it can be as simple as winning, you know, a free consultation with you, winning, uh, you know, your product, you know, free um, order of your product, whatever it is, whatever, you, you know, incentivization you want to put in there. And then it, it basically just becomes a contest. Okay. So this is one of the best ones or, you know, simplest to implement and just radically really quickly take off. And it, it's just a, a, a contest basically where they will have a list of things that if they, you know, do these things, they are going to gain points and you can set this up, you know, once a month or once a week or whatever. And let's say at the end of every week, um, whoever has the most points is the most likely to win whatever your thing is that you're giving away, okay? And if they do these actions, they get more and more points. So a really simple one can be, hey, you just joined my list, go and follow my Instagram page and I'll give you 10 extra points, okay? So they can, and they'll, the button will be right there and they can just click it, boop. Um, it takes them to your Instagram page. They like it. Then they come back. Great. Okay. 10 points have been added. You, you know, you're 10 points more likely to win whatever our thing is that we're giving away. Um, now, you know, for 20 points, go and like our Facebook page. All right. Again, click, they can go there. Boom. And they, they can, you know, keep increasing their odds. Now you can get really creative with this and I would go for things, you know, more important that you, you can tell them, okay, now go read, you know, my lead magnet or go watch my on-demand webinar for a hundred points. Um, you can literally do things like buy my, you know, we, you know, we've got a sale on cookies buy two dozen cookies in the next 14 days and we'll give you a thousand points. Okay. You can do all sorts. It's, it's just, it's funny what people will start doing. But then one of my favorites you can do is refer this page, invite a friend for 500 points or whatever, whatever you want to value it at. Okay. And in order for someone to get to this page, guess what they got to do? They've got to download your lead magnet. They've got to get on your email list. And so on and so forth. And then you, you can tell people, go share this on your Facebook profile. Go share this on your Instagram profile. We'll give you 30 more points, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so now you literally, you're, you're, you're turning the marketplace into your little miniature soldiers. And this is one of the fastest, easiest ways to, to grow your list. And, uh, you know, I was kind of skeptical of, of it first because I was like, well, but okay, but what if you start getting the wrong kinds of people? So lots of ways to mitigate around that. Don't really have time to get it, into it in this video. I, I, I expect, you know, eventually I'll be doing a, a full deep down, deep dive on up viral uh, down the road. Um, but uh, needless to say, if you're at like starting from zero, you've got a small list or you've got an unresponsive list, you need to get responsive people fast. This is just like pouring gasoline. Um, and, and you know, very quickly, the the virality of it and the referral part of it, everybody, you know, like they trust people because they're referring people to you. It's it's really, really, really cool. And this is, you know, for sure, one of the, the fastest ways to grow your list. Um, and that's, I mean, basically it, you know, number one, you can cold call. Number two, you can run a Facebook ad. Uh, and, and then number three, you can um, use up viral to multiply. Now, the caveat here is for, for up viral to work, you do need traffic, right? And we've talked about that many times before. 
And so you can cold call to get traffic. You can run paid ads like Facebook or Google ads to get traffic. Um, but one of my favorite reasons I'm telling everybody about this is these free Google ads you can get. Um, my partner, Paul Murphy, if you just go to sirenfox.com. Uh, I'll make sure you get this link down in the comments as well. He's got a webinar where he's showing everybody specifically how to get these free Google ads, um, get in the first page of Google. It's super, super simple. It's evergreen. That's what I love about it. It's, you know, uh, here, here's the thing about the Facebook ad. Um, it's going to work, you know, right off the bat. It's going to get you leads, but you got to keep putting that money in, right? And eventually after a week or so, that ad is going to start fatiguing. You're going to have to go back and find a different image. Sometimes the, the, the images aren't converting as well. You might have to change your, your text and everything like that. Again, it's not the end of the world. It's not the worst. Um, but, you know, it, that, that can get a little irritating if you're trying to grow faster. On top of that, um, this Facebook ad, it's, it's great for starting out. But you'll notice if you try scaling it, like, okay, let's say you start with $10 a day, but you want to get to $1,000, $10,000 a day. That's a whole nother science in of itself that, you know, a whole nother skill set in of itself that you got to go figure out and learn. And when you're playing with that much money, it's it's very quick and easy to burn through it and actually get, you know, fewer results. If you're used to getting leads for $3, $2 or something like that, and you're like, this is amazing. Let's just pour, you know, $10,000, $100,000 on it. Your lead cost will break because Facebook's trying to figure out and find people and you might end, you know end up shortchanging yourself being like what in the world our cost per lead just went from three dollars up to thirty dollars this is you know what's going on here um, and while we're doing our getting email addresses so I I just recommend everybody start with uh you know Paul Murphy's method here for getting these uh, free Google ads because you, you can't beat the the high intent traffic that's from coming from Google these are people who are already thinking about buying something um, people on Facebook they're not in a buying mode they're scrolling around looking at cat photos and stuff like that um and and then again, if you can get these people in here, one two punch them with the the up viral here, uh, you know this is just crazy. So um, yeah, it's you know really that simple. Get yourself some traffic. Make sure you got your email list growing. Bolt on up viral if you really want to get the the cycle going, get a flywheel effect going. Um, but your high your highest intent traffic is going to be coming from Google. Um, that's pretty much all I've got here for today. Now. Do, as always, like write a comment below. I, I'd be curious to know uh, today's question is going to be like, what's your, the goal for your email list at the end of this year in, in terms of size? How many emails or subscribers do you want to grow by by the end of this year? Is it, you know, a thousand, 10,000, 50,000? Like, what is your end of year goal in terms of the size of your list? And for this video, the first, you know, everybody who comments in the first 24 hours, you may have heard, you know, we, we actually give away a free vacation um, to either Cancun or Las Vegas. And the reason we can do that, we, we get hotels through one of my partners. Um, he's got connections in the hotel industry. And if they can't book the, the rooms, we're able to actually gift them to our clients for free and stuff like that. Um, and so in this case, too, um, you know, everybody who comments in the first 24 hours of your YouTube video, we randomly select a winner and we'll get in touch with you. and We'll get that sent over to you. Um, so make sure you just let us know you know, what's this, what's your aim or what's your goal for the size of your email list at the end of this year? I'd be really curious to know and hit the bell, subscribe, because my next video is going to be on what to say when you first start email marketing. <laughs> now you're growing your list, but how do you convert them? How do you get them to buy stuff? That's what we're going to dive into on the next video. And so until then, stay awesome.